Welcome back, everyone. This is the two-month update of our ongoing 25-way graphene coatings, waxes, and sealants product longevity test. We're now entering the hot summer months here in Texas, which means this hood will regularly see air temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or about 39 degrees. The last 30 days, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen, is on your screen here. As usual, we're going to foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse to check and inspect all the hydrophobics before we dry everything off. Check the links in the video description as to where you can buy these products as it does help the channel out. I also have my awesome spreadsheet with all the info on all these products in the video description. If you'd like to support the channel, information about that is on your screen right here. If you're new to this channel, not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for about the last six, almost seven years now. This hood sits outside of our shop here in East Texas, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and we will wash it on a monthly basis until the last one fails. I do have other tests with different products always running not right now, including trim and glass upcoming, so please go and check those out. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see how everything is looking here. Top row, Drive Auto Nano. Looks like it's doing all right. Showing a little bit signs of, you know, not quite hydrophobic from day one. 4210H has failed. 303 Graphene Spray, the new versus the old. Don't see a whole lot of difference between the two. And we have Graphene Pre-Production Sample A. Looks like it is very hydrophobic. Glossit Graphene doing great. Pre-Production Sample B, there was actually two there. They were split in half. Both of those appear, well, yeah, both of those appear to be failed. IGL Easy Graphene, 4210H Graphene, also doing great. 4.2 is a product I found on Amazon. Ilho 12H has failed and Drive Auto Graphene looks like it is doing all right. Ethos Resist Graphene Spray looks great. Adams 9H Graphene Spray also looking all right. Extreme Solutions Graphene, Glass Parency Graphene Spray, Kenzo Non Graphene, and below that is Kenzo Graphene. Both of those look all right. Don't really see any difference in the hydrophobics between the two. That's kind of why I put the standard above the graphene version. Glass Parency Graphene Extreme Solutions. All those looking great. Adams 10H Graphene looking great. And Ethos also looking very good. Turtle Wax from the promo kit that they sent all the YouTubers and the one that I purchased myself. No difference between the two, but both are looking very weak. Not to the point where we're gonna call them failed, but we're gonna, we're gonna mark them weak. SPS Graphene looks great. Turtle Wax Graphene Max Wax showing a little bit of weakness, but not, not to the point where you would call it weak. You can, you can definitely see that there. So Max Wax versus Flex Wax. Flex Wax definitely looks like it's behaving much better. So there's your update for two months. Uh, everything really doing quite well considering how much rain that this hood has been exposed to. So, so far so good. A couple of the cheaper products have failed. Other than that, that's where we're at this month. So just a short update, gonna dry everything off. Thanks again for watching guys. We have just surpassed the 25,000 subscriber mark. That's outstanding. Never would have thought this channel has, would grow at the rate it has. So thank you again. Much appreciated. Stay tuned for the next update.